Hello, friends. I'm creating this video today because I've been feeling a sense of escalation of suffering for a while now. And I believe it is because our world is breaking down physical and non physical systems that no longer serve us energetically. Many of us feel like we're on the outskirts of society as we live in these higher frequencies. And many of us are okay with that. We find ourselves kind of like outside of the matrix. And we want nothing to do with the madness of the world because we've awakened to these deeper truths within ourselves, far beyond material possessions, power, or attachments that they could give us. But there are some of us as well that will slip in and out of the matrix and will find it difficult to have that one foot in, one foot out, as we are the bridge to others to help these beings move over to the other side in these higher level frequencies. Our deepest truth is knowing our divine nature. And many of us will ask, well, how do I do that? I have spoken a lot on this channel about our divine nature, and I have attempted to do direct pointers to our divine nature, but there are those of us who ask, how can I see what I do not see? How do I channel my inner divine being when this world is encompassed by madness and these and anchored in these lower level energy frequencies such as lust, greed, power. The truth is is that if you're pulled into these energies and have an awareness and recognition of them, then you have been given a great gift. As Michael Singer would say, you have a big fish and the things are bubbling to the surface for a reason. And what is that reason? It is our gift with clear seeing that you can use your discernment to let go of what has been keeping you in these lower level frequencies and move into those higher states of consciousness, which will better align you with your true nature. I often say that the heart is the gateway to spirit, and it is where most people get stuck and cannot move forward. People will get stuck energetically here in the heart and trapped in these lower level, we'll just say energy centers or chakras, not moving up into higher conscious energy centers after the heart. So you have the heart as the gateway and the higher level consciousness energy centers are in the throat, the third eye and the crown chakras and beyond. Now, the heart is the gateway of ascension from our egoic small self with all of its attachments to our higher divine self. And that heart balances the dualistic world of those polarities that we talk about in the world of duality into oneness. If you do not work on your heart and fully open your heart, you cannot ascend to those higher level frequencies. I will tell you that many years I have done energy work. Before I met David Bingham, before I was on this pathless path of self-realization, I would do energy work with beings and I would always find a consistency across the board that many beings hold so much energy, blocked energy in their heart. And it's because it is the gateway. It is, if not the most powerful, and important chakra in this human being path that we have. The heart balances the dualistic world, like I said, into oneness. It balances the positive and the negative, the darkness and the light, the sun, the moon, the yin and the yang, the divine masculine and the divine feminine, the mind and the heart. 
it balances all of these things into perfect balance so that we are able to ascend into our true nature as human beings, emphasis on the being. It is only through the heart that we can access our inner Christ, our inner Buddha, our inner Krishna, by ascending from these lower frequencies such as shame, guilt, apathy, and into these higher frequencies of unconditional love, joy, and peace. So I ask you, in this time of escalation of suffering, what better time to awaken your heart and move into these higher energies? And you may ask, how do I do this? The first step is very simple. And you guys know me. I like to stick to the basics. I like to stick to the simple things. But sometimes the simple things are not so simple. But in this first thing is it's letting go of all the negativity, all the lower level frequencies that are holding you back from ascending. In your deepest heart of hearts, you know what these are, and they will be different for each of us. You'll see in my videos that there were things that I had to give up, such as alcohol. I had to give up some egoic attachments that I had to certain roles that I would play. The list will be specific to you. And what you will do as a step two is you will sit down and write them out from a place of stillness and really tap into your heart and write down those things that you feel are holding you back. And the third step is going into stillness and asking your divine being to give you that next step for each of those things that are holding you back. And these could be very small steps. And we have to be patient with ourselves because the awakening process is not on our own timelines. It's on a divine timeline. And you are already whole, complete, and self-realized. But you may not believe me at this point. You may say, I don't feel it. I don't see it. But through this process of letting go and through this process of accessing your own in intuition through your heart center into higher level centers, you will be able to access your next step. And it may not come to you right away. It may be something that happens when you're walking your dog. But just be patient with yourself and center in on that heart. And the last thing that I will say is that the, the thing that we have to work on every day is keeping our heart open, no matter what happens. And sometimes this can be difficult because as we play these different roles and we have these different energetic attachments and we have all this mind chatter and these emotions, it can close off the heart. And it can become an energetic blockage and it doesn't open that gateway to the higher energy centers. But if we can learn to bring awareness to what closes our heart, we can also bring awareness to what opens it and manifest more of that in your life, more of that love, more of that forgiveness, compassion. And what will happen is you will move up in your states of consciousness to align better with your true nature. And one thing that is also helpful is if you do align with a certain ascended master, we'll just say Christ as one ascended master or Krishna or Buddha, if you will energetically resonate with them, you can always pull that energy from within you outward through embodiment, 
what would it feel like if I were Christ in this moment? And you will energetically feel the frequency shift automatically as you embody your inner Christ, your inner Buddha, your inner Krishna, as you embody your inner angels, because all of that is within you. It's already there. You're already complete. You're already whole. It's only our beliefs and our attachments that are keeping us covered up and not fully realizing our inner strength, our inner power. So peace be with you, friends. During this turbulent time, we need you fully awakened heart on this planet, each and every one of the, you beings out there. Namaste.